everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the pictures that I hope to colour um, in September. This is my What's in My Colouring Bag video which I've been doing for many months now and I've been inspired by Colour and Chat with Sammy to do it. So I'm just going to get started. Um, the first pictures that I am hoping to at least start in September um, are these ones. Now these um, were sent to me by Yvonne Davidson and she has put together um, or is currently doing um, one of the travelling Ivy and the Inky Butterfly books and um, they've done a couple actually um, over the years and I am so excited to be participating in this. She sent me the pages to do um, just to speed the process up a bit I think and um, she very sweetly as well it gave me a few different options and in the end I picked these pictures um I loved colouring these pictures in my first and second copy and it's such a lovely page because it's the first time that we properly see the the butterfly and I'm planning on colouring it exactly the same as I have done in my second copy so with my butterfly that goes from blue to purple orange to yellow um, and using the same colour palette so it should be quite relaxing and therapeutic because I know what colours I'm using I've coloured it before but I think there will still be quite a lot of pressure because obviously it's going in the book that will be sent to Joanna one day so yeah that's that one I'm hoping to at least start it as I said um she did very kindly say that there's no rush on these pages but I'm hoping to complete them if not in September in October um just so that I can send them back to her okay so I have a few whips firstly that I'm going to share with you that I want to complete. The first one is from Duvelt under de Lupe Zilande by Ruta Berman. I haven't done any more of this since I shared it in my completed pages, so you're probably familiar with it. Um, it's this one. I'm hoping to complete it. I'm very much enjoying it so far. And even though um, I'm taking this page really slowly, I'm not getting bored at any points, which I am loving. Um, and I'm hoping to just continue colouring it with black widow pencils because then I can count it for uh, Beers for September, um, which is hosted by Corey at Colourfully Optimistic. So um, obviously black widow pencils go for that. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to be able to use my brute filler pencils to go for it. But if I can at least complete this one or the next one I'm going to share with you, um or both of them that'd be great and then they can go for the color along sorry i keep shaking the camera um so yeah this one i am really liking and now that i've done the bulk of you know the repeated area with the border um there's not actually that much left and i'm glad i did the border first because i like how it's turned out so that is that page and then i also have my whip from minor riser de Europa by Rita Berman. This is her brand new book. I'd highly recommend getting it. It's probably my favourite. Um, so this one, um, I'm definitely hoping to complete this side and I started it as soon as I got the book which was kind of the end of August. So I've been working on it again for a little bit but I'm just taking my time with it and as I said on my completed pages I'm kind of doing a different thing with this page where I do all of the red and then all of the blue and it's actually worked out quite well because it means I'm working on most of the page at once rather than working from um, one area to another if that makes sense so yeah I'm hoping to complete this one I'm loving how it's turning out so far and I think the reason for that is because I'm taking my time with it um, but I realized that when I was coloring it I was thinking oh should I do this side as well because it's still got the autumn leaves in it. It's still got, um, you know, red for the post box. Um, you know, I can still use the same colours. So I think I'm probably going to start working on this page as well and kind of colour them alongside each other. So I'll probably for now stop working on this side and start doing the autumnal background on this side and see how I do. Um, but yeah, as I said, I can use lots of the same colours. Um, and I was actually about to send my page to Rita and um, share with her what I had done already. And she beat me to it and she very sweetly said that 
she'd watched my completed pages video and loved how it was turning out so far so that was so kind of her and um, I mean that's the greatest achievement for me for an artist to recognize my coloring in in some way so that really meant a lot so yeah I'm hoping to maybe complete the whole double page spread by the end of the month um if I can if not definitely this slide so that's that one I then have my fragile worlds um whip which is a body colour with Valentina. I know I said last last month my aim was to complete the sky. This month it is my aim to complete the sky, definitely. Um, if I manage to do a bit more, I'm not sure what I'll necessarily start working on next. Um, Valentina has very kindly sent me some reference photos, which are very closely matched to this page. So I might start working on the penguins or the rock, not sure yet but if I can just get the sky done that would be great um as I've said many times we're taking this page slowly and I'm glad we are because it is a very intimidating page um for both of us I think I haven't done a huge double spread like this in a while um and then there are two that I'm hoping to get round to um I'm not sure if I will but I really hope so this is I believe in fairies by Clara Markova you know by now I love working in um, in this and I've done 9 out of the 32 so I've almost done one a month since I um, got them um, which for me I think is quite impressive um, just because I you know I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to work in every book every month so um, I'm hoping to do one out of the autumn section because obviously we're heading into fall or autumn as we call it here um so i mean i love all of them it doesn't really matter because i would eventually love to finish these so i'm not sure which one i'll do i'll probably just do one that at the time i'm in the mood for doing um there are only six in the autumn section um because there's more christmasy ones i think or there's another summer one something like that so I'm not sure, yeah, which one I'll do. I may even get around to two of them during the autumn season, but I'd love to do another one if I can. And I'd also love to do another from the Domings postcards, again, if I can. The one that I did last month only took me a few days. So, I mean, we were on holiday, but um, yeah, my Alice in Wonderland one, that's the that's the sheet that's not the actual completed page um that's the completed page there that only took a few days so I'm optimistic that I could do another um one that really caught my eye was the pizza pan one I'd love to do that one um but I mean they're all lovely equally and I might pick one that's a little bit less detailed um, there are lots of nice wintry kind of Christmassy ones as well so maybe as we go into that period um they'd be great ones to color so yeah a lot of options in that one and then i have a buddy color in worlds of wonder by joanna bassford which is a buddy color with effie that i definitely want to do by the end of september this is going to be a page that i know i'm going to get done I have actually started it but I'm going to restart because I want to slightly change how I've coloured it so this is what I've started so far we're doing the sweets page and luckily this will go for quite a few colour alongs including Effie's which is S is for September so anything beginning with S um, you can colour to participate so this one um, I'm trying to do a, a Battenberg effect I'm not sure if you've seen those um, Battenberg cakes it's basically um squares of yellow and pink cake wrapped in marzipan and I thought it would be a cool idea to do that as the background I do think now that I've coloured it the background is a bit too bold so I think what I'm going to do is just rub it out and do a lighter layer I don't want it to be as saturated as the actual objects so I'm just going to rub it out it's absolutely fine I do it all the time um but it did take me quite a while yesterday just measuring everything out and creating the um the boxes 
but that was really fun and I've outlined everything in a yellow fine liner just so that when I colour these in the lines aren't going to be as noticeable so it will kind of be a checkerboard effect so I'll have all of the yellow ones here and then all of the pink ones there so I'm really excited to continue with this but yeah as I said I will just retry that see how it goes um I'm kind of used to that by now if I'm not happy with something I just retry um I then have my whip in my second copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly which I would love to continue with I'm not um expected to complete this this month I would like to start on the hydrangeas if I can just get those done I'd be really happy because they will take a long time um but Equally, if I can do a bit more in it, that would be lovely as well. I kind of know where I'm going with it because I want it to be fairly similar to how my picture in my first copy came out. Let me just share that with you. Um, I didn't do a background first time though in this, which obviously I have done there. You can't really see. But the hydrangeas I want to do fairly similar to how they turned out here. And then pretty much the same sort of idea in terms of colours, but... I will change these and make them daisies. Um, I'll probably keep all of the blue, the light blue bells, but we'll see. If, as I said, I just want to continue with that one. And then I have four books that I ideally would like to work in, but I'm not sure if I will get round to. The one that's definitely on the top of my list to get round to is um, Mythographic. Frozen Fantasies by Fabiana Atanasio. I really want to work in this one because um, my brother Tom got it for me and I want to colour the page that I picked out. Again, not sure if I'll finish it, but I would love to start it. And now that I want to share it with you, I can't find it. Um, I did share it in my haul. And yeah, this is the page that I want to do. I, I'm wanting to kind of colour it like the northern lights so Lyra and the bear in it I can't remember um his name but I think this will be a really fun one and it will kind of be a nice different one to do because we're not quite in the winter season yet but we're coming up to it and I know that when we get around to the Christmas period I'm not going to have as many um I'm not going to have as much time sorry to colour all of the Christmassy winter pages that I want to do so it's a nice opportunity to get one done early so that's that one um and then i also would love to color a page out of fairy touch of magic by clara markova this would be for um corey's color along that she's doing this month this is the nameplate page and i would really love to do it i didn't get around to doing the mushroom from worlds of wonder last month um We'll see. I, I'm just not sure, but I've I've got it, and it's one that I would love to do. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry, Corey, if I don't get around to it. Um, I I just I would love to, but we'll see. It's a lovely page, and I've only done one in here because, as I've said, I, I focused um, primarily on the postcards, so I haven't worked as much in her new book, but I have worked a lot in fairy celebrations, so that's that one that's one that I hope to work in I would also really like to do a page from Circle of Life by Malpameni Chatsapanigitu um the one that I have picked out is this one this is the peacock page and the reason that I really want to do this one is that my cousin Rosie actually picked it well we, we did a challenge when we stayed with them um a while ago and this page was picked and she randomly picked all of the the supplies and what I was going to do first and I I really really want to do this one because I love it and I just want to do it because it's been a while since we did that video we did it in July and I, I did say to her that unfortunately it probably would take me a little bit of time to get around to it which she didn't mind but um yeah I, I would love to do this one soon so I'm planning on still colouring it as a realistic peacock um and making the flowers and the leaves look like the feathers so see how that one goes and then finally this is one that I would like to work in as well um this is the flower year by Leila Dooley this is my second copy I have explained about why I got a second copy and all of that um 
in my haul video. So the one that I would like to do in here, well, there's two possible ones. Either I would like to do, I can't find it now. I would like to do the Periwinkle and Wren because that was the first page I ever did in my first copy. And I'd like to follow um, Katrine at all these colourings tutorial for that. Or I would like to do the title page, the very first one, because this was the second page that I did in the book. And it's my favourite page that I've ever done in the book, I think, first time round. So it would be lovely to do this one again. So one of those two will be um, the first page. Whether I get round to it this month, I'm not sure, but I would like to do um, one of those at some point. So that's everything that I have to share with you. I feel like I haven't shared as much as I usually would, which I think is probably a good idea because I'm I'm not sure um, how much I'm going to get around to. I think as I head into at the end of September, beginning of October, I will have an idea of how busy I'm going to be at college. So you know, whether I can get all my work done at college and then come home and, you know, do what I want to do. Or, you know, if if I do need to do extra work, I'm not sure yet because my full time table hasn't quite started. So, yeah, we'll see. But it's very exciting. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and thank you so much for watching. As always, I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.